This is Steve Kimes and I am a troublemaker. So Robert last time talked about uh, Anabaptists who were troublemakers. He talked about Anabaptists running through the streets with weapons and Anabaptists running through the streets without clothes. Uh, and uh, it, all these troublemakers that actually caused more trouble than, they were, than it was worth. But I want to say that right now, according to the city of Portland, the city of Gresham, I'm a troublemaker, uh, even though I'm a pastor of a Mennonite church. Uh, I'm a pastor of a homeless Mennonite church, and this, this area, right back over here, is an area that used to be a place where uh, the homeless used to camp, as, as well as 60 more acres round over here. And uh, the city of Gresham decided to block all this area off, not allow any, uh, any more homeless uh, be over here. The, they were making an a, uh, unannounced vote. Uh, to make this happen and a group of 20 of us decided that we were going to try to stop the vote so that way they could hear from the homeless exactly what happens when they knock down their homes and tell them they can't stay there anymore and so we chanted and we listened and then we chanted some more and we stopped we tried to stop the vote and they decided to have us arrested uh, early on this year, there was a group of homeless people who were going to be swept, and I helped them gather up and get organized, and we took over a piece of Portland city land, uh, so that way they would have a place to stay and not be and not be forced to move in the middle of winter to who knows where. Um, I've been a troublemaker. I've been a really bad troublemaker this year. Other people will tell you that I've always been a troublemaker, and I'm just noisier than I have been uh, in years past but the thing is is that uh, in churches all around I think that we hear a lot of stories about how troublemakers cause uh, problems to society we hear lots of stories about uh, uh, lots of stories about how uh, troublemakers cause uh, cause difficulties and and that we can't get things that we needed back and what uh, uh, what I think that we're missing the point of is that Jesus was a troublemaker. You don't get crucified unless you're making trouble. Paul was a troublemaker. He got his head chopped off. The fact is, is that why are they troublemakers? Because they were standing up for people who were oppressed. Because they were out there talking for people who needed to be talked about. And that they were standing with those people and helping them to stand up and say, no, we're not going to take this anymore. Uh, that's what uh, Martin Luther King Jr. did. And I think that the real problem of the church is not that we have troublemakers who are uh, troublemakers who are getting carried away. We have two main trouble, two main problems in the church. Number one, we have troublemakers who don't have any direction. They don't realize that they need to focus on the people who are oppressed instead of on uh, people who, instead of on doctrinal issues uh, that are 400 years old. The other issue is that, frankly, we are a church that is more passive than pacifist. We are a church that isn't interested in. Uh, in facing the issues that are hard and standing up and being out there sure there's a few people who are out there doing protests but how many how many church leaders are beginning those protests how many church leaders are out there saying we are going to save lives no matter what it costs us I mean we can see fantasies of, of that on on movies but the reality is the church is not a, is not the troublemaker organization that it started out to be if we want to start complaining about troublemakers, first we better have a whole group of them that are ready to change the world. That's what I have to say. Talk to you later.